Hello all the high school students. I hope that you are fine. I am so good. So as I am intermediate students, I will teaching you some important paragraphs what will come in your exam. These paragraphs are really really very important. So I will teach you some specific paragraphs what will come your upcoming SSC exam. When I was reading 10th class that time I read these paragraphs. I also memo I also this time can memorize these paragraphs. These paragraphs are really really very important for your SSC exam. So I will going to teach you this paragraph few of paragraphs hope this paragraph is written by me very easily to for you so must read and must wrote this write this paragraph on your notebook okay so i am going to start the, your paragraphs so at first i would like to teach you a village doctor paragraph a village doctor what do you know about a village doctor and what is the main purpose of a village doctor can you understand or can you explain a village doctor at first when we read a paragraph or learn a paragraph we needed and we needed also very and clearly some things as like who is a village doctor what is the qualifications what type of things are found in the disparency and when does he comes to his disparency and see the, his parents what is his importance in the society these questions are actually very important to explain on your paragraph thus your teacher will give you a good marks when he or she saw see that you write these important questions on your paragraph you will get a good marks so start the village doctor paragraph okay the man who gives medical treatment to the village people is known as a village doctor as it is a village doctor so a man who gives medical treatment to the villagers is a village doctor okay it is basic things the village doctor is the man of great importance of society he is well known to the villagers the renders great service to the villagers when they fall ill actually what does a village doctor do when a village people or a villagers feel ill, Ill or sick a village doctor treatment his or her okay so he is not well qualified he does not have a good schooling he gathers experience by working under a qualified doctor or in a medicine shop. 
a village doctor is not a professional doctor because he lives in a village and you know that in our de developing country or as we are a popular pop as we are populated and we live in a poor country so a village doctor is not as well educated he uh, he must be a shopkeeper of a medicine shop or he can be a personal assistant of any doctor so that's the reason he has some knowledge about sickness and illness and he can give you a medium or basic first aid treatment okay so his dispensary dispensary offers a poor show with one or two worn out almidas and old wooden chair a broken table and one or two benches the village doctor leads a very hard and busy life he gets up early in the morning he begins to attend the patients present as hoarseness and disease his dispensary just at 8 am and finishes at late hours at night if you think village doctor is has no work this is wrong a village doctor also has a lot of patients so he wakes up at early in the morning and he closes his or her medicine shop late at night so he begins though he sometimes hoarseness the diseases of a patient he is the most trusted person to the villagers as he treated to the village people so he is a very trusted person for the villagers he is the best friend of the villagers because they find him whenever they call him he is he is quite familiar and popular in village because he only treatments his village people and his village for an example you lived in a village and there are 500 people lived there okay so only one or two village doctors are lived in your village so others are normal people who works on any office farmers etc so those two village doctor you and your all the village people can be know right so there the reason village doctor is very popular in his or her village and people actually loved him or her he sh shares their will and oh he consoles them and hears them words of hope he treats his patients with sympathy he, so we can easily understand a village doctor is not only treat his patient for money he also treat his patients with his unconditional love and with his sympathy okay so this is the paragraph of village doctor so this is number 1 paragraph i teach a step by step i will teach you another paragraph so our next paragraph is a fisherman yes 
Our next paragraph is a fisherman. So, in cities, students can can't know who is the fisherman or who is a fisherman, but a village students or village boy can easily know who is a fisherman. A fisherman is that of people who catches fish and live their livelihood by catching fish and sold that fish in the bazaars or gra villages heart right so so as a fisherman in a fisherman paragraph we needed to be know some specific points number 1 who is a fisherman number 2 where does he live and number 3 how does he support his family this three point is really very important to know about a fisherman his life and for and his family and the fourth number point is how does he pass his days this is actually an important point also so a fisherman is a person who earns his livelihood by catching and selling fishes. Generally, a fisherman lives by the rivers, big canals, marshy lands, and seas for his day and all night. He is always busy in making his fishing nets, repairing them, taking care of his fishing boat. He actually busy, right? As a fisherman, he always repair his nets, his fishing boats, and uh, different types of things. Those whose uh, what is horse are related with his fishing life so that he passes most of his time in fishing in the river and in the sea a fisherman actually passes his most of the time in the river and in the sea because he all day catches fish in the river and also the seas right then sometimes he goes in the deep sea for fishing and his family becomes anxious about his safe return Sometimes fisherman needs to go needs to go out for the seas to catching fish in very crucial weather or critical weather but as he is a fisherman he can't ignore his job he must needed to be catch fish. He faces dangers. He has no radio set and motor boards. He cannot listen to the weather warning. As a fisherman is a poor guy, he has no radio or no mobile phone or Wi-Fi. So he cannot get any warning or any information about weather. And if he stayed in a middle of the sea or middle of the river, 
anything can be happen if a tornado occurs or any natural disasters occurs it will be really harmful for a fisherman so this is actually very dangerous but what can he do he is a fisherman and he must needed to catches the fish for us so he cannot return to the shore safely a fisherman lives a very poor life it's very simple logic a fisherman is not a rich guy if he is a, he can he he was rich he cannot catch us fishes right he catch fish for us to feed us and earns money from us and also he lived by catching fishes so a fisherman lives a very poor life he has hardly nets and boards of his own sometimes some fisherman has no boat or no nets by his own he learned boards or nets from the others fisherman so just imagine how poor a fisherman is our government already take necessary steps to help fisherman immediately i hope that these steps will really work for our great fisherman and they can catch us more fishes in future it will be helpful for them and they can earn more money their life will more develop if it will happen he has hardly he is not given loans on easy terms A fisherman cannot get loans by the bank very easily because he has no lands he has no jewelry or any expensive things that's why he cannot get any bank loan from the bank for he catching fishes or for his improvement his face beams with a smile when he catches a lot of fish he actually feels joy when he catches a lot of fish this is actually a great happiness call you thought or you think that you will catch today few fishes but you luck helps to you and you can catch more fishes so when he catches a lot of fish a fisherman does much good to us by supplying us with fish a fisherman catches fish for us there and for that reason we can eat fish every day this is actually very respect to this is actually respectful job so a fisherman plays an important role like a farmer so he is also plays a important role like a farmer so this is the paragraph of a fisherman and 
now i am going to teaching you another important paragraph and this paragraph is quite familiar in our country and this will definitely come in the exam so this paragraph is so this paragraph is a farmer yes my dear audience you know this farmer is a quite familiar term to you there are as bangladesh is a agricultural country there are a lot of farmer lived here many of the village peoples are farmers and farmers are the backbone of our nations so this paragraph is really really very very important and it will be calm not sure but definitely <laughs> so at first we need to know that who is a farmer and what is the what is his daily activities and what are the pleasure and pains the person who does the work of farming is known as a farmer so it actually writes a person who works in the field to grow foods for us is called farmer and he inherits a little hand guys dear audience hold on a second so in bangladesh the life of a farmer is not so good actually our farmer is so poor he inherits a little land and he is illiterate our most of the farmer is illiterate this is the very disadvantages for them because if they are educated they can understand many more things and they can produce more food but our most of the farmers are uneducated for that reason they cannot learn anything by their their own self and they do many mistakes and for that reason farmers can't grow or gain their life he cannot for that reason he cannot apply scientific method as he is an illiterate people he cannot apply scientific method he has only a pair of plugs his land scientifically he cannot apply some handmade tools as he is an illiterate people he is only used handmade tools often he has not enough money to buy seed sometimes they cannot have get enough money to buy seeds to grow foods he has the only pair of blocks and some handmade tools fertilizer to prescribe as a result he cannot produce more food for himself and his family he cannot make proper use of his land as he is a illiterate people he has not enough idea to he has not enough idea to how to produce or how to grow foods more 
but he, a farmer is actually very hard worker person if you know you should be know at first because he wakes up early in the morning and and he do work since from the evening so a farmer wakes up early in the morning and goes to his lands plucks sows the seeds and out he comes home at noon eats his meal takes rest and again goes to his land he is born poor sometimes he takes loan from the money lenders if he cannot repay the loan he sells the pieces of land a farmer sometimes go to the money lenders when he needed money but if they can't refused his proposal and if they didn't give him the money then he has no any other choices and he needed to be sold his land and he did or he do that A farmer is left on the mercy of nature. He has pleasures and pains in life. If he gets a good harvest, his face becomes a jaw. A farmer's life is full of suffering, actually. He tried to do well, but he always he can't get more or grow fruits every day so but he tried always to grow more fruits as much as he can because everybody wants to earn more money as like farmer also likes to earn more money by his own credit so when he grow more fruits or f- production grow more production from uh, his lands then his face becomes with full of joy he and his family a starve he lives a very, he leads a very poor life though he works hard he cannot lead a decent life he cannot raise his head from the fear of wars his life is mean from a struggle of ex- existence some people t- some people told us that work hard then you will shine in life this is not actually true because not if every time you work hard properly and you will get succeeded a farmer is also a good hard worker who works all day long for his purpose but he cannot shine in in his life or he cannot get more production but he tries from his best he tried his best but also you needed to be luck not only hard work also favorable also you need a good luck to for his for your work it will be also really helpful for your work when your luck helps you so i would like to our government 
already take necessary steps to give some advantages to our poor farmers and not only poor our farmers are developing day by day many projects already government take for them farmers for our farmers hello guys so i am back to my room you can see there is outside dark and at my home there is no electricity but today as it is a master class so i need to study or teach you more paragraph so i will try to finish important paragraph today so our next important paragraph is street hawker so what do you know about street hawker or how does a street hawker lived so let's start our today so at first who is a street hawker then what does a street hawker do what sort of man is a street hawker what does he sell how does he attract the attention of customers and when does a street hawker come out to sell his things we need to know a street hawker deals in various things by hawking from street to street he carries his materials on head and sometimes in hand and sometimes in a small hand cart he generally buys his goods at a cheaper rate and sells them at a good profit as a street hawker business is small so he try to buy his product at a cheap price and try to sell that product very few profit to the people a street hawker is very cunning he knows his business very well and he also knows about his customers his customers are actually children and women he brings toys sweets and other things for children and sell them at a fixed price at a good rate he also brings bangles ribbons cloth things fruits utensils fancy goods and things of domestic users for women this is quite cunning okay cause his main customer is actually women so women has their children so he bought and carry toys for the children to attractive to the children and sold them so he speaks in different ways to draw the attention to his customers a hawker also knows his time hour of his business he does not come when housemates are at home rather he comes when house masters are out of home and when women are free from their household work and duties he never come when house masters are at home cause when house masters are at home then women are cannot go out to buy any or purchase anything so cleverly he went to the, them when house masters are not at home and then he sold his products to the women and the children so this is how actually street hawker do and his business so now i am going to talk a next paragraph a street baker i know this is very quite 
familiar to you because in Dhaka city there are a lot of beggars you can see every day on railway station, streets, anywhere. Beggars are anywhere, every places. So, the beggar, uh, at first we need to know who is a street, a street beggar, what is a street beggar seen and how is his cloth, how does a street beggar look, what does a street beggar do to have a aims, what does he do to those people who gave him alms. So, let's speak about the street beggar paragraph. The beggar who begs alms in the street is called a street beggar. He is seen sitting or standing everywhere in the street of towns and cities. His hair is unbrushed and without oil. He is seen in pasted up and torn clothes. His clothes are very dirty and bad smell emits from his clothes. Sometimes a street beggar is alone and sometimes in a company. A street beggar is not actually alone. He do his begging with his team or together more. A street beggar may be able bodied, blind, lame or crippled. A street beggar has a bag hanging down his shoulder. This is very popular term with a street beggar. When a passer by walks past him, he stretches his begging bowl for alms. Sometimes he is seen reciting some sentences of the Holy Quran or the and asks for money in the name. However, some passers by give him some coins and some leave being annoyed by his loud shouts. Sometimes passers give him the money and some people feel annoyed or irritating those are never give any money to the street beggar a street beggar prays for the passage passers by who help him a street beggar actually prays for the passers who given to the money to him if anyone refuse to give him something, he silently leaves at the place and goes to another. Sometimes a street baker earns a lot. When you cannot give any money or coins to the street baker, he actually leaves. But some of the street baker earns a lot of money every day for your kind information. In our government already take necessary steps for our street beggars who are really actually poor. I hope this problem will be solved very soon. So next is reading room. Where you need to read or when where you read is called a reading room and how actually a reading room will be. So at first we need to know what is reading room, how many pieces of furniture are there in your reading room, what things are there, how is your reading room and how do you maintain your reading room. So now I am going to teach you this paragraph, reading room paragraph. So the room which is used for reading is called reading room. This is actually easy and basic term of a reading room. 
since I am a student, I have a separate reading room of my own. It faces the south. It is a big room. There are two doors and two spacious windows. Sunlight comes easily into my reading room. Your reading room must needed to be a windows beside. It will be helpful for you because air can be passes easily by the window in your reading room. There are a table and a chair and a nice bookshelf in my reading room. There is a table clock also on the table. If you love any type of accessories then you can also keep that accessories items on your reading room my dear student. So next the book are nicely arranged. I also keep a desk diary and maintain my daily routine. I always told you that follow a routine every day. It will be really really helpful for a student life to follow a good routine because without a routine a student has cannot manage a good time every day. But with the help of a good routine, he can manage a small or a very time every day easily. So must maintain a daily routine and I keep my reading room neat and clean. A reading room must be neat and clean because you cannot study in a dirty room, right? Serves it serves the purpose of my bedroom also. My reading room offers a fine show. I do not allow anyone to create disturbance in my reading room. Actually, you do when you read or when you do work in your room, you need to be very careful that nobody can't end entered on your room. It will be great hamper for your study and also for your work. Some people can understand these basic things. They have some common sense problem. But try to make a reading room for your personally or your workplace personally and do your study and work very properly on that place and peacefully. I feel comfortable in my reading room. So guys this is the reading room paragraph. I hope you can easily very understand. You can see there is no electricity but I will try to explain these paragraphs to you. And I will try to teach every important paragraphs to you. So this is reading rooms paragraph and now I am going to the our next paragraph your classroom. When you think about your classroom it will be your school life. So what is classroom and where is your classroom situated? How is your classroom looks like? How many pieces of furniture or benches or table chair there? And how many students can sit there? This is very important for a classroom. So a classroom is the place where classes are held for teaching students. My classroom is in the ground floor of our school. It is 40 feet long and 30 feet wide. It is very spacious and well ventilated. It can accommodate 
60 students. It has two doors and four wide windows. As a result, the room gets suffi sufficient air and light. As this has two doors and four windows, so it has sufficient air and light cause air can pass very easily through the window and light also can pass from the window and the doors. So next is the room is well electrified with four fans and three tube lights. The room is well electrified with four fans and three tube lights. We use the fans when it is necessary. There are 20 smooth high benches and 20 comfortable low benches for the seating arrangement of the students. There is a raised platform with a fine chair and table for the teacher. A big black board is fixed to the wall. The walls and the ceiling are nicely white washed. There is no wall writing. We keep the classroom neat and clean. We feel comfortable in the classroom. So guys, this is the paragraph about classroom. This is actually very important for the students and our next paragraph is your school common room. Your school common room, why is a common room important for a school? and how is your school common room and what is the room furnished. A school common room is a part and parcel of a school students come here, take rest and make friendship. It keeps a school always fresh live and cheerful our school has a big common room. There are chairs, tables and benches in the common room. There are a radio and a TV for the recreation of the students. Almost all the dailies, weeklies and other magazines are available here. Students come here, listen to radio watch TV, read newspaper and discusses many things. In the common room, students actually gossiping with each other. They can read newspaper, they can play chess, they can play table tennis or anything. So school common room is very important and essential for every school. But school common room and the classroom is not the same thing. Common room is another room and classroom is another. Okay. It is a nice place for the students for indoor games. In off period, the students play caroms, chess, table tennis, etc. Sometimes students discuss politics here. Students never want to stay in the classes all time. So they went to the school common room and gossiping with each other and spend a quality full time in the common room. A common room plays an important role in removing the monotony of the students. Our common room is a nice and useful place indeed. A common room is actually very helpful for the students. It removes their monotony and dullness. 
it also gives energy to the students for read study again and they can study properly and concentrate on their study so our next paragraph is school magazine you can see that your school every year publishes a magazine about your school and school's summary so school magazine actually based on school's previous background stages and how it school's teachers names and students talents shows on that magazine so a school magazine is a magazine that contains writings of the teachers and the students of a school almost every well established school publishes a magazine every year it gives a view of the life of the school and reveals the creative genius of the students it contains poems articles and short notes are written by the teachers and the student as what i already said i can remember that when i was at school i write a story for my school magazine and it was published i was really happy on that time so this is actually very precious things for me and this is very memorable this is this is really a great memory for me is try to write anything on your school magazine it will be really nostalgic for you in your future life remember my words so the publication of a school magazine is a very difficult task the editor and his assistants have to work hard to publish the magazine the magazine committee invites writing from the students and teachers the editorial board selects the qualified ones for printing the school magazine serves many useful purposes the most important is that it brings out the latest creative talents of the students and thus helps them to the great writer a student feels proud and happy when he finds his own writing in print the school magazine also reflects the academic and co-curricular activities of the school it is a treasure i learned to the students the students can learn many things from the school magazine in a word the school magazine mirrors of the school this is actually true that a school magazine reflects all about the school so school magazine is a really important thing for the school you can know about that school on their school magazines and also their students and also their teachers you can find writings essays poems etc content on school magazines so school magazine is really very important things for students and teachers and also for the school every school publishes school magazines every year some of our two or three years but school magazine is really a good magazine for all the students so now our next paragraph is school library this paragraph is also important because school library is very important part of school not every school has a 
school library but this is actually needed every school must needed a school library cause on that library students can read books properly every day a library is a storehouse of knowledge a library plays an important role in the realm of knowledge a library is a part and parcel of a school our school has a big library it is housed in a separate two story building the library has a good collection there are many almaries and books are arranged in different shelves according to the subjects the reading room and the office room of the librarian are separate a school library is such a beautiful things of every school a school library has few furnitures tables and chairs where students can read their favorite books as a poems etc i can remember when i was reading in school i went to the library and i read horror books because i love horror stories so that time i read horror books and it really feel joy for me a library has a librarian and also a assistant maybe more the library has a good collection the reading room and the office room of the librarian are definitely be separate the librarian has some assistant there is a big reading room when we takes to help of a catalog the assistants at once find the book and help us a library every library has a librarian and also assistant and that assistant helps to find your books if you can't find any books you can send that assistant to find that books and he or she will definitely help you to find your books very easily there is a big reading room when we take the helps of a catalog the assistants at once find the book and helps us we are use is issued library cards oh like if you are if you would to like to study on a library then you must need it a library cards must be after 2 weeks in the reading room we can read as many books as we like in the reading room we can read as many book as we like silence is must here a library must maintain the policy of keep silent in library you cannot talk to the uh, any other people a library must needed to be silent where you can read very peacefully nobody is allowed to make noise i am proud of my school library if you would if you would like to talk with any other person then you can just only talk to the librarian not any other people okay so i actually love my library and this is my school library paragraph for you so now i am going to talk about moonlit night what do you know about moonlit night i actually love moonlit night and this moonlit night is very enjoyable in villagers who lived in village in cities we cannot enjoy this moonlit night much more because of too much light or cars horns etc but in village we can enjoy moonlit night more so a moonlit night is really charming and enjoyable it presents a beautiful sight it dazzles our eyes and soothes our hearts in a moonlit 
night the moon looks like a disk of silver the moon bars the whole world with her silverly light the watery places mean canals and rivers and tanks seem to smile on a moonlit night the grand spectacles the canals river and the tanks present cannot be described in words the whole nature looks bright and appears in celestial light people of all age enjoy a moonlit night a moonlit night is actually very enjoyable for all ages of people they can they can enjoy the night in moonlit night village children go out to play with their batchmates and friends and young people are gossiping with each other on a moonlit night a moonlit play, young boys play a little boys girls play and make merriments and almost themselves a moonlit night is really enjoyable to a newly married couple it actually romantic for newly married couple a moonlit night men and women of middle ages cannot come out of doors they pass some hours in gossiping and storytelling and enjoy the night poets of all languages have sung highly of a moonlit night even lower animals come out at night and little insects also fly here and there a moonlit night is pleasant and fine indeed so actually a moonlit night is a very beautiful scenery if you can enjoy it then if you have got opportunity then you can enjoy the moonlit night so our next paragraph is a winter morning a winter morning a winter morning is misty and cold there is dense fog everywhere sometimes the fog is so dense that our that the sun rays cannot get through it even things at a little distance can hardly be seen birds chirping is not heard the cow and the other animals cannot come out but it is but it is not so in every morning dew drops fall on leaves and blades of grass at my at night they look like glittering pearls when the rays of the morning sun fall off them village children and people have hardly warm clothes they gather straw and dry leaves to make fire to warm themselves the old and the poor box in the sun in order to warm themselves people in general and children get up late so everyone is busy in taking breakfast <coughs> dressing and getting ready for going to their respective places in a winter morning one can enjoy delicious and sweet cakes pears and date juice many other things the scene of the winter morning vanishes as the day advances the sun goes up the fog melts a winter morning is enjoyable in many respects so guys these are the important paragraphs for you this is the master class of your paragraphs i will teach you the importance composition in my next video for you thanks for stay connected with me and see you in the next class
with an another topic with a new video so today here i going to end this video and see you in the next class goodbye and these are the six or seven paragraphs for you just read this paragraph clearly this will definitely come your exam